truest of souls, bathed in her light. There is a fleeting connection. Your parasite communes with his, then falls quiet. Father, my dearest boy, the hells have touched you, but you've come to me just as Gortar said you would. A true soul, no less. Father and son, unstoppable generals. You and your allies will usher in a new dawn. Help me. Ah, the Black Widow caught you in her web. Floric chose shadow over light. Her betrayal burned deeper than the fires of Avernus. She's been punished for her lies. Don't let her get to you. Punished? Gods. Don't want to imagine what that entails. Maybe there's still time to find her. Within Ravenguard's memories, you find Counselor Floric. She is confined in a cell right here in Worm's Rock. The sun rises, true soul. Are you ready? What is a hero, if not an actor for the greater good? Faerun suffers in darkness. Tears abandoned us. Helm's eye has strayed. But Baldur's Gate will soon burn bright, a beacon to light the heavens. Gortash and I will ignite the final spark, and that, true soul, is the greatest of goods. No, this isn't him. This is the tadpole talking. For a brief moment, uncertainty clouds his mind, then dissipates. The astral prism vibrates in concord. Nonsense is this. I... The prison quivers once more. Raven Guard falters. As I said, Baldur's Gate will ascend to Rill's first and only grand city. First comes a vision of terror. The city of Baldur's Gate taken by Elithids. But beyond the terror, there is hope. You see a beaming Raven Guard presiding over the sunlit city, applauded by the people. A people at peace. Raven Guard, the real Raven Guard, is in there somewhere. We can't give up on him. Have we finished then, 